Hi, and welcome to this little tutorial about how to make an image map using GIMP. Firstly, I've got a picture open in GIMP, and the name of the picture is Petal Flower Silhouette.jp. I need to remember that because that's what I've got to make sure I put into my web page later on. Okay, so in GIMP, I need to go Filters, Web, Image Map. And then I get a little window here where I can image uh, pff, edit areas of the image. And I can choose what shape I want the clickable region to be. I'm just going to go for circle because it's simple. That's the most complex. You can actually design your shapes to perfectly fit the petals if you wanted to. Um, but I'm just doing this for demonstration, so I'm not going to. You click and drag to select your area on your image. And then... If you click on it, it gives you this little button that says, what do you want to link to? So I want to link it to a website. Um, you guys will be linking to different web pages within your website, so I think you probably need the file one. You'll have to experiment with that, but I'm just doing a simple website. Go to um, www.google.com for the sake of testing it. Mine's an absolute link. It doesn't matter what where my web page is saved. It's still going to somewhere out there on the internet. Yours will be a relative link, which is um, will be another HTML file within your folder that you're making yourself. Now, um, target alt text. I, it's always good to have a bit of alt text in there. And I'm going to go apply. And I want that little window to go away, so I go OK. Now, all I need from this is actually the source code that I'm going to paste into my HTML file. So I'm going to go View, Source, and this is what I need. Copy, Control C. Now get back to my notepad, and Control V. Now, the only bit on this I need to change, actually, you can get rid of all of that because it's just comments. It's actually, you actually, you should leave yours there. I'm getting rid of it because it's not necessary for you. It's just the attribution info about the person who designed this image map thing. Um, but that'll just confuse you, so that can go away. Now, the only bit you need to change is up here, which is the name of the original picture. And mine was, uh, hang on, Petal Flower Silhouette with dashes in between, and it's a JPEG. So... Petal dash flower dash sil. Did I spell it right? Hopefully. Dot jpg. And if I'm lucky, this will be all good. And I've already saved this file. Is going to save to my desktop, which is the same place as the pictures saved. So that's why I don't need to put any more information than that. It'll it'll find the picture easy peasy. Now I need to test it. Run launching Chrome. Please work. Now, does the pointer change when... It, oh, yeah. Up there, the pointer changed to a hand, which means it's clickable. Click on it, and it goes to Google. That's what we were after. And if I go back, I assume my flower is still there. So that's the image. I've made that section of the image into a link. End of tutorial, I believe.